Welcome to Beat School. I'm Martin S. I'll be your instructor. And this is the storefront environment where we have some decks that you can practice on. When you get into the DJ view, use the arrow keys to move left or right or AWSD on your keyboard. Here you can load some tracks, play them on your CDJs. If you raise the fader, you'll hear the sound. All the EQs work on this mixer, and a handy little trick if you hold down the Option key and click an EQ, it pops back to its default position. You can also load tracks right from the CDJs themselves. And cueing is hooked up, so you can hear the cue track in your left headphone and the program track in your right headphone. Now, cueing is a super important part of DJing, so I want you to pay attention as I work through this video to see how this cue works. So anyway, I'm going to nudge and drag on the platter just to move my beats into alignment. And I like to drop the bass on my incoming track so I don't get any big sort of clashes between the incoming bass line and the program track's bass line. And actually, this is a pretty common mixing technique. Most people use it. So now we just have a little mix. Here I'm getting ready to drop the bass. There's that little trick with the option and clicking the EQ. So it's about time to mix out. So I'll stop the playback on that CDJ and uh, just move over to the right and find a new track. Once again, I want to turn on the cue. Oh, but first I'll reset all of my faders and get set up for the mix. Fader down, bass down, get ready to press go, but you know what? Better turn on the cue first. and I'll just nudge these beats into place. Now notice that I'm mixing basically on the eight bars. Every eight bars, something new happens. It's called a phrase. And when you drop your mixes, you want to drop them in at the beginning of the phrase, always. So every eight bars, something happens. You know, take your time, get your mix right. Okay, so I've introduced the mix. Now I'm gonna bring it all the way up. Notice my bass is still down. So I'll drop the outgoing channel just a tad to let the incoming channel breathe. And now I'm going to play with the outgoing track a little bit. you notice once again though, I'm doing everything on the eight bars. Get ready to pull it out right on the eight bar. So that's the basics of mixing in Beat School. You just gotta remember to use that Q button to separate your tracks, the Q into the left and the program into the right. That helps you differentiate the beats. And uh, other than that, just have a lot of fun.
Oh yeah, I should tell you about this. This is our gigs. So there's a bunch of gigs for you to explore as you go through the game. There's a studio, basement party, a lounge, and my old favorite club, Rumors. Anyway, have fun with Beat School. It's a lot of fun, you know, just go in, practice. It's great for ear training. It'll help you refine your ability to uh, mix and to make sure that your beats are on top of each other, not frapping. And at the end of the day, I think it's a whole lot of fun. So I'm Martin S. out. Enjoy Beat School.